What's up, everybody? We're back with the, another episode of the Montartica Podcast. In here tonight, it's uh, John Hould and I. Just the two OGs doing it solo, I guess. I don't know. We, uh, we were supposed to have Noah on with us, but he... Uh, we're making sure he's okay, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> he hasn't texted us back. He's MIA. Maybe he just ditched us, but either way. I wouldn't blame him either way, I guess. John, how you been? Cold. Cold? <laughs> yeah, welcome to fucking <laughs> Montartica, huh? Cold. I'm sick of working on my pickup. Me too. Well, not working on my pickup part, but the cold part. Yeah, I'm sick of it, man. I, I don't, you know, I've, I've, I've said this tons of times, too. I don't mind the snow. I kind of enjoy playing in the snow. I don't, I just don't... Uh, enjoy freaking 20 below all the time well, it's you know like like you were saying it was what 18 19 degrees a day and it felt awesome I was, yeah my my kid ran home from wrestling in a pair of shorts yeah so i mean that's of course yeah i just man when you get that below zero for that many days jesus it's been almost all february it's just bitter and bitter cold. It just, yeah, now my pickup, everything's wrong with it. I, geez, I was just all proud of how well it was running and everything working just right. Well, it's not really fun to run out there and work on it in the middle. I mean, like, just no. even simple shit of running out and connecting a battery charger hurts right. when it's yeah. 20 below out. Oh, you know? yeah. Like, yeah, I had to change a, I changed the starter in it the other day, and it was probably, I don't know, it, it had warmed up to 10 or 15 below. And I just, I got all bundled up and I just, you, <laughs> you know. You just said warmed up to 10 or 15 below. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I know. But I, I just bundled up and I just bit the bullet and I was like, I got to do it. I got to do it. So I went out there and I, you know, I'd work on it for however long and then I'd go warm up again. But I didn't even realize how cold my fingers were getting. Yeah. Just, but holding that metal, you know, that it's basically a solid block of ice. My fingertips got frostbite. I thought I was going to lose my fingernails. <laughs> All the skin came off the fingertips. That's good, it, huh? Yeah, I thought I was going to lose my fingernails. It was... God, that's, that's and crazy. And I just didn't realize it, you know, because I had been... I was just... I had to do it. Go, go, go. Get it done. What do you find? Is that just the rope? Oh, he's yeah. good. Yeah, it's just the rope. The dude The is, dude's in here, too, but he can't speak for himself much. <laughs> he can if we... Well, He's he, got a, he, he found won't. a rope. He found a rope outside. With <laughs> one of my dogs. The dude Jeffrey Lebowski, my my therapy dog. What kind of dog is he? Do you remember? Yeah, he's. Uh, we did a DNA test on him, and he's he's uh, he's one of five things. He's Beagle, Beagle, American Staffordshire Terrier, Staffordshire Bull Terrier, German Short Hair, and Greyhound. Huh. We got. I got a. I got a mixed breed. I haven't. Done, I should do the DNA test on Sprout before. It's it's, it's kind of cool to. But uh, I, I got another dog, a new dog that we got. She's only like uh, not even six months old yet. And she's kind of a meathead, but she she kind of growing on me a bit. But she's a uh, English old English bulldog and Aussie collie. So she's a little bit of both, high strung, kind of yeah, semi smart, semi dumb. She loves to chase her tail. The fucking thing. I don't know if I got, like, stinky ears or what, <laughs> but she has chewed up, like, eight pairs of my earbuds. And, like, even if they're on the bed, they, I should get have uh, toys everywhere. It's the and texture. She chews up, it must be the it's texture. It's got to be the rubber on yeah. them or something that she can just mow right through them. But she, see, she got a pair off the fucking counter one day and ate them. <laughs> and I... I, I, I luckily these earbuds are normally pretty cheap, but she finally just ate up an expensive pair of one of my Bluetooth like workout Ooh. headphones. But uh, the the little earbuds that I buy, they're these really they're called Max Rock. So I mean, take the name for what it is. They're like ten bucks on Amazon, but they're made of this really really squishy rubber. And I like to put them in when I sleep sometimes and like listen to a podcast or whatever before I fall asleep. And something about that fucking dog. <laughs> How about, dude, do you ever eat any of your shit? D- not normally, but just, uh, we had a, we had a dog visiting for a couple of days just the, lately, and, and she's probably like, oh, I'd say seven, eight year old dog. Wait a minute, we? Do you got a roommate you haven't told me I about? I meant me and the dude, <laughs> me and the dude, me and the dude had a dog visiting for a couple of days, and, um, I guess the dude decided he had to show off or something, because there was... I had pens all tore apart across the living room. About three of his toys were ripped and shredded across the living room. My <laughs> pair of Columbia winter snow boots oh, that's shredded across the living room. Um, I mean, it was it was 
chaos. As soon as I walked in, too, he put his head down and just went and hide. He he knew he was. He god damn oh, knew it. Shit, yep. Dad's home. And it, I was just like, I was like, what are you doing? I, and he knew better because instantly when I walked in, he was he felt bad. He was guilty. Yeah. And, I was like, well, then why did you do it? You know you're going to get your ass chewed for on, this. Uh, on Reddit, there's a, it's a subreddit, and I, I might get the subreddit wrong, but it's dog thoughts. All it is is, like, the, the titles are in the wording of <laughs> dogs, like the way that your dog would think. Ooh, right. Human thinks, blah, blah, blah. It's, pretty, they're, it's a pretty good thread to follow. God, he's... And usually he's good, you know? He does, he'll rip his toys apart. I had to quit giving him teddy bears because he'll eat the stuffing, and then he can't shit for three days. <laughs> So he doesn't get teddy bears anymore. But <laughs> that he can't shit. But usually he's you know, he's really good about it. He doesn't chew up cords, he doesn't chew up glasses, he doesn't Rebel's getting better, but she's still I keep gotta keep telling myself she's still a puppy. She's still a puppy. It's hard to Oh, it's tough. It's a tough time to get through. I mean we've wanted to give her away multiple times. Still a good chance <laughs> of like maybe she should go to somebody else's house. To, you know, but yeah. It, uh, I couldn't do it to mine. I'm I'm too attached to him now. I I never wanted a dog, and now I have one that I. I, no, I told imagine. you that she yeah. she or he'd end up loving you, you know, and yeah. you'd love him. Oh, and he does too. He can't hardly stand being without me. It's it's strange, it, which is I guess feelings mutual because now without him, I. Yeah. Oh, their dogs are cool. But, I might and like turn I said, back into a heathen. This one's such an Rebel's such a meathead too. Sprout's like the best dog in the world, but Rebel is such a freaking meathead, <laughs> but smart at the same time. Right. But if you walk by her and run your hand down her back and pet her and grab her tail and just give it a little shake, <laughs> she will chase her tail for thirty freaking minutes. I mean, viciously <laughs> chase. The tip of her tail's a little bit bloody tonight because she's bit it so hard so many oh times. My God. <laughs> This the dude. He's he's pretty smart. He'll do just. He can understand you. He'll do just about anything you ask him to do. I mean, he he knows what you're telling him or asking him. It's just a matter of whether he. he sometimes he's like not confident enough, so I yeah. so he won't perform the task. But it. But otherwise, he he tries. He tries, man. He. What was it today? Oh, I was vacuuming, and I, you know, the the beater brush on the bottom of the vacuum. I was oh, yeah. cleaning that. It had string and some wires and hair, and so I was cutting all that out, and I had it upside down. And he's not scared of the vacuum cleaner. It, it makes him a little nervous, but he like runs past it really fast. Like he's <laughs> he'll run past it this way, and then he'll be like, "I gotta go see that thing again." Yeah. So then he runs past it again, and. He nonstop, he does that. And so I had it tipped over after I vacuumed part of the apartment. And uh, he came and he sat down right beside me and put his nose right into the beater brush. He was, he was, mm. I think he was afraid the vacuum cleaner was going to get me. Yeah. yeah and, we got a Roomba. You ought to see the dogs go crazy about that thing. Oh, man. They're I just <laughs> running. Like the first time, they, and they're pretty calm about it now because they're kind of quiet, you know, but... The first time they see this robot vacuum going around, they're <laughs> juking and jiving. My dog is more, he's more scared of when I, when I uh, take the garbage out and put a new garbage sack in, you know, when you unfold it and you give it that oh, whip. Yeah. Uh, he is more scared of that than he is of anything I've ever seen. He sees me changing the garbage and as soon as he sees me start to tie it up, he goes running for the furthest corner in the apartment there is. He, he is scared to death of me whipping those huh. sacks around. Rebel ran a deer out of our yard the other day. She... We, I heard her just going ape shit in, in the yard, so I let her in. She runs in the house, and she's still going nuts. And I'm like, "What the hell's wrong?" You know, I'm sitting in the back bedroom, and she comes in, almost like Lassie, like, yeah. "Hey, girl, what are you yeah. trying to tell me?" So like, she runs me to the front door, and I open it up, and she chases a deer right in the middle of our yard, <laughs> and the deer hops through the yard into the next. I was the, like, "Holy!" The dude hates deer. I go, yep. uh, "Rebel, that deer is gonna kick your ass if you get a hold of that thing." <laughs> the dude hates him. He. He was about gotten me in wrecks before, because you know, in town here, when oh, yeah. the weather's like this, there's deer all over, and we drive by, and even if I don't see it, he'll let me know. And pretty soon, he's in my lap, or he's about to jump out. He he hates him with a passion. It's it's weird it, how dogs it's incredible it's natural. Oh, they want to eat them. It's food. Yeah, yeah. You know, with that apple tree, even when he was a pup uh, last summer, we'd pull up, and those deer would be under there. As soon as I let him out, man, he would have those deer on the run. Oh yeah. Uh, I think he he enjoyed it for one, but he was also pissed off. That's his yeah. domain. That's... We've got a lot of deer in town lately. Yeah, we do. I well, mean, a lot compared to like I, we used to as a kid. Every once in a while, I'll see them, but I literally see coming home every night from bartending. I see deer on Fifth Avenue. Yeah, I've nearly gotten a wreck. I mean, too. I've almost yeah. hit a couple of them already. 
coming down Fifth Avenue, turn the corner, and then they dart in front of you, and you're like, well, I suppose this is their easiest way to get food, because out in the out in the middle of nowhere, you know, out in the country, out yeah, the prairie, motherfuckers are raiding my garden in the summer. They're getting yeah, fat. There's nothing for them to eat out there. I mean, they there's quite a bit of snow. Plus, it's so cold. You gotta spend a hundred bucks extra just on fencing stuff just to keep them out of it. <laughs> it's crazy. Hey, I just read on uh, I just read on Reddit one of the cool things. Uh, well, we've talked about it before. Pearl Jam donator Jeff uh, donated our skate park here in Malta. You know. Pearl Jam just donated $10.8 million to help try and combat homelessness. Wow. That's a shit ton of money. It is. It makes I mean, me... especially for a band to just get... Oh, it makes me want to be homeless. <laughs> <laughs> I just about am. I probably will be by the end of winter. That's uh, pretty incredible. I, well, and you know, in Seattle, like, uh, the West Coast has a pretty bad homeless problem be- just yeah. because of, they have decent weather and, well, if you're homeless... I'd rather live under a bridge in 70 degrees than... That's what I said when I was at, uh, when we were in Florida sitting on the beach. I was like, I was lucky, I'm lucky I didn't discover this at 15. I might have became a beach bum. <laughs> Dude, I, mean, I, I mean, I might have... I could see myself. I liked it so much. I could could live in a tent. Yeah. But, yeah. I lived in a tent for a summer. I lived kind Tents of... Tents are miserable if you don't have air conditioning. out of my car and out of a tent. And I don't know. At the time, it was perfect. I just got divorced, and I, I had the I don't give a fucks. And... So it was actually, it was probably pretty good therapy for me. I just went, lived out in the boonies, and my job was peeling logs, so I could show I up really at 5 o'clock cards. in the morning, and <laughs> I got the nervous twitch. Yep. It's been a while since we've done one of these. I'm still doing it. <laughs> 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 I set him down and picked him right him back down up. three feet away and reaches his hand right to him. Now he's uh, like a There, now trend. I got a lighter. Fight the urge to grab this. There's a decade. I gave him index cards to write down some topics. Uh, <laughs> all I'm using them for is nervous tick. Flick, flick, <laughs> flick. <laughs> Before we started the podcast, uh, I read another thing. Uh, I, John, were you driving a ship, a Russian ship lately? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I drive off of them, by the way. Uh, there was a, a Russian ship that ran into a bridge in South Korea, like literally a big ship drills this bridge like a cargo ship guy tried to throw it in reverse and run away Jesus! <laughs> in a ship like what yeah. you're in a city and you just drilled a main bridge and you're gonna Pretty run away sure there's a bunch of people on the bridge that's all you do, do it do you suppose he ran out on the deck and did the little look around like you do after you fall down <laughs> <laughs> i Who fell down the... today i fell down today outside of stretches oh i went God. in I, or no, it was yesterday. I ran in to use the ATM, and I just, I'm hustling out because I'm going to pool leagues. There's a great big snow bank, and I'm just wearing normal shoes because I'm going into the bar, right. you know. So I take, the, I take a great big leap over it, you know, all thinking I'm athletic. Yeah, and it's slick. No, it was perfect. The leap landed great, and I was like, fuck yeah. It took two more steps. Boom, oh, down oh, I went. Jesus. <laughs> you would have thought I would have fallen. You know, like, I literally jumped three feet over this yeah. thing, you know, and land all... Literally take two normal steps after it, and my legs just boom down. I go. <laughs> I look, I don't think anybody saw me. I did do get. I got to get up and look yeah, around. <laughs> yeah, the your face turns beet red. Yeah. Your yeah, your pride's hurt a little more than your body is. I got in the car and go to pull out. Realize a dollar fell out of my pocket when I hit. I pull back in to get my dollar back. <laughs> <laughs> I would too. Dollars are hard to come by these days. <laughs> I did that the other day too. I I was out. I think I was uh, sweeping off the snow off my pickup or something, and I slipped, and I did the old Fred Flintstone doodly doodly yeah. doodly doodly, <laughs> and I caught myself, and I swear I should have just let myself fall. If you just but, flop, it'd yep. be way better. When you catch yourself, it hurts. Oh, my God. I hurt myself trying to catch myself. And if I would have just fallen because there was fresh powder snow, I could have fallen and <laughs> not probably... Yeah, when you start sticking anything. arms and wrists out, that's yeah, when it hurts. Yeah, that's why I, I caught the side of my pickup thinking I was going to catch myself and it <laughs> about rip your arm out of socket oh coming God. down. <laughs> yeah, separated shoulder gets worse. God, that's funny. Yeah, hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny to watch other people fall. Like, uh, yeah. I was showing you there's uh, there's a subreddit on Reddit also of just I, little toddler yeah, children I, falling. And, and most of them aren't mean. Most of them are just like, because kids are little and they trip does, a lot, you know? I can't even watch people fall. Like, watching skateboard wrecks. Oh, and I don't like wrecks, that. I can't watch I don't watch like them. violent ones. I cannot watch them. It's funny to it. watch somebody derf it if you know it didn't hurt them. Ugh, I just, eesh, it creeps me out. I They're, don't know. Yeah, I, 
I can't, especially if a bone breaks in a video or yeah. something. I do not want to see it. If they're even on the NFL, every once in a while you'll see something like that, and a bone breaks. You want to take a quick break? Yeah, we let's sing. let the dog out. We'll take a quick break. Okay, break, break. All right, we're back, and uh, <laughs> I got a crazy "what would you do" situation for you, John. I read this. Punt. Yeah, this uh, dude finds out. He kept he kept missing his socks. Uh, he kept looking in his sock drawer to look for his gym socks, and then suddenly they kept disappearing and disappearing, whatever. And anytime that he'd go to do the laundry to do more, his his wife would, or girlfriend would kind of freak out on him and no nope, no nope, I got it I do the laundry you know don't let me. And uh, then he goes home one day and he's like gonna try and get the, find these socks or whatever, and he goes to take the trash out and he sees one of his gym socks in the garbage can with shit on it. Well, they don't have a dog. They don't have anything else. The only other person living with him is his girlfriend. Oh, I don't like this is where they're And uh, so he mentions it to her. He's like, I'm not accusing you, but why is one of my socks in the garbage with... Full of shit. Yeah, and she freaks out on him. Apparently she fucking loses it and runs away and doesn't want to talk to him, whatever. And He finally gets her to calmly tell her, tell him what happens. Apparently she's got some phobia... The toilet paper is going to rip through in her hands because she's a germaphobe and her hands are going to get dirty if she rips through. So she's been putting her hands in her boyfriend's socks and wiping her. Oh, my and God. And throwing them away the whole time. And she kept buying him new socks trying to think that he well, wouldn't notice. that's not so bad, man. Brand it's new socks bad. is awesome. Well, I know. Exactly. But what a weird. Why wouldn't you just go get some uh, gloves or something that you'd. Or wet wipes. Or, or wet something. wipes. Or, yeah, I don't. A sock? You'd think it's going to soak through a sock every bit as much as it does some folded well, up toilet paper. Well, not to mention a shitty sock in the garbage is going to smell a oh, lot more. Oh, I know. Though. Flush that shit. You don't want no shit laying around the house. Jesus. That, that sounds... So would you look at your girlfriend the same or? No. <laughs> God, I can't I'd be like, the fuck's the, wrong with you? I found a pair of, of socks in the pickup the other day. The dude brought, we were over at a friend's house and... Apparently he he liked her socks and he he brought them along with us and so there was a mismatched pair of socks and I was, thought that was strange but I thought maybe her feet got cold did something and no apparently he just was stealing her socks Backed off the socks I was like man now you make me look like a weirdo yeah yeah right John you were taking them home to sniff them <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah socks most guys steal panties yeah. That, <laughs> I can understand that. That's funny. <laughs> but socks? <laughs> Man, there's a lot of better things. So, uh, not only... A lot of these stories I got tonight I found on Reddit because it's a fucking gold mine for hilarious stories, but... Not only were you driving a ship over a Russian ship, uh, or you could fly a plane, too. In uh, 1956, old Thomas, Thomas Fitzpatrick was sitting at a bar... He stole a plane from the local airport without being noticed, flew it, and then flew it in and landed it right in front of the bar. While telling the story in the bar two years later, a local patron doesn't believe him. So he goes and fucking does it again. He did it twice. <laughs> that's, that's a good one. And st- steals it from the local airport Man. and st- lands it in front of the tavern. That's a good one. Just because a the, guy didn't believe him, like, fuck you, I'll wow. watch this. Jesus. What was the... That's the ultimate, like... Yeah. <laughs> was, wasn't there a movie, wasn't Leonardo DiCaprio in a movie about something like that? Yeah, he was a plane, or a pilot. Uh, what the, it was about cash checks or something, wasn't Howard, it? Uh, Howard Hughes. Wasn't it? Yeah, I think he was, was Howard Hughes. Dude Some, that ran around cash and checks or something like that, something wasn't it? Or, like that. Yeah, I, don't, I don't remember what the name of the show, well, the movie was. I didn't mean to bring up something I have zero knowledge about. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know how many times I do that? I'll know like just a little bit about. Like, hey, wasn't that that one thing? Yeah. I, that yeah. Well, I can't tell you anymore. I was hoping you knew. Yeah. I, oops. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> <laughs> shit. I haven't even done anything dumb lately. I. Usually I have something to top it, but... You can't hardly even... 
It's so damn Stealing cold out. Stealing an airplane, uh, it's tough to beat, especially this weather, yeah. It, it's so cold out. A guy, I don't even want, and I work at home, so I don't even want to leave my fucking house unless I got to no. go to the post office or. Dude, I built a hillbilly heater for my pickup the other day. I had sleeping bags over the hood, and I set it like a, what do you call that, a heating pad. I plugged in a heating pad, and I set it on the engine, and then <laughs> I couldn't figure out how else to heat it up because my head bolt heater is not working. Well, it's non-existent. So I took an I took an old crock pot and set it under under <laughs> me, and I turned this son of a bitch on high and I built tents around it. Did it work? It worked. It st- <laughs> I got my pickup started anyways. I, I like to think the crock pot worked. <laughs> this is a magnetic oil pan heater. Cost like twenty bucks. <laughs> well, I didn't have twenty bucks, and I couldn't get to the store because my pickup <laughs> wouldn't start. I guess good point. Tough to go get one of your pickup old stuff. They don't deliver. <laughs> and I got a crock pot. You brought a heater over here. You could have used. That. I didn't have it then. <laughs> I just got it like yesterday or the day before. What'd you build the tent out of? Tents <laughs> or, or <laughs> sl- like sleeping bags and blankets. Tents. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Cold weather is a thought you said you haven't done anything <laughs> dumb lately. Yeah, well. <laughs> Did you pick up? It worked, so you pick up. Put a microphone going. in front of me. I'll show you That's dumb. That's fucking funny. <laughs> yeah, I was, dude, I, I had to take like four loads down my stairs. And I had blankets and a, finally I, I was like, what am I going to do to heat it up? I just had that one little heating pad. And that wasn't enough because it was like forty <laughs> below, and you couldn't even hardly tell. When it, was it gets warm. that cold, uh, even like with my pickup plugged in, yeah, it still doesn't want to run yeah. hard. Like well, and that's what I was like, man. Maybe I should have put more antifreeze in my mix. Well, who plans on it being forty-five degrees below zero for ten days? At, I mean, yeah, no, I, I, mean like, I get oh, it. Oh, it's we only li- good for thirty-four below. We got like. Terrible amnesia living up here. Because last know. winter it was that fucking cold too, and it was actually probably colder last winter. Every year I cry. And every year we go, yep. man. But guess, I, who but guess where I still live? You know? Who would have planned on it being this damn cold? Well, yeah, it, we probably should. I, I, I really wonder what made a guy settle up here after the first winter. I would have to say. Uh, they must have... Their horse died? They run off, run the wheels off their wagon. I, I mean, and then they just had families. I don't know. Yeah, well, and even, like, out in the prairies, you see these homesteads, but they're... What did they burn for wood? What did they... I mean, they're in the middle of nowhere. They didn't have insulation. They didn't have modern heaters. They... Burned sagebrush or something, Sagebrush and cow shit. I, I don't know what else they did because there's no wood out there to burn. Yeah. It's kind of crazy, you know, to think how it would have been that long ago. I guess there's... They were tougher than me, that's for sure. Oh, me too, but... Doesn't take much for me, but... <laughs> I've, I've pretty, turned into a total wuss, man. You get pretty soft, you know, like, especially the older I get. The, yeah. I, I, I mean, there's certain things I'm not, you know, but goddamn, I, it feels like the younger me had a lot more... Oh, yeah. Not so much ambition, but drive to... Yeah, it didn't bother me that this... I mean, I wasn't tired all the time. Right. And then well, wide and, awake when I want to go to bed. Right. That's and then, my problem. And then oh, old injuries, man. Injuries when it's this cold are, man. That's, oh, yeah, my body aches like a motherfucker. I, I have a hard time even getting out of bed. It's just, ugh. And then for what? Just to get up just and... Just to wake up to go to the damn post office to pay that $500 yeah, power bill? The, <laughs> to work on my pickup for six hours just to get it started to go to the post office to pay that $500? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah it's, it, leaving the house, it's for one, it's expensive. Just leaving the house is going to cost you 20 to 30 bucks. I mean, even that's even if you don't plan on doing anything. You gotta well, leave that's your... only because you need a six-pack and a pack of smokes. <laughs> and actually... <laughs> I've actually not been doing that a whole bunch lately, but I have lately. But I <laughs> <laughs> just a couple days. But then you got to let your pickup run for a half an hour just to be able to sit in it, and then you know it. I don't know. Oh yeah, it's it's bitter cold out when it's like this, and I just thought it was getting a little warmer today. And then my son comes in and he's like, "Dad, what's the weather going to be in Lewistown?" So we ask his Siri, his uh, five below, yeah. low of seventeen. I'm like, five below is the high. Hey, like, motherfucker, just. That's. It, uh, above zero for a minute would be okay. And it used to feel like 
I remember all the, and I don't even know so much how much our weather's changing, but I know, like, it's warmer later into the year, it feels like yeah. now, and it's colder. It's like the seasons are just like gradually they, changing. They Well, they moved a, a month ahead it, or yeah. so. Cause like, like, spring starts later and fall starts later. Yeah. That's it's kind of what it's felt like, mm-hmm. but maybe that's just me. Hey, like seasons said, change. We got amnesia on what fucking happens anyway. Yeah. Well, uh, what did I hear the other day? I think on the news uh, on the TV or something that there was like twenty four straight days below zero, or it's it's some incredible thing because we we went from like forty something degrees to forty something below zero and a ton of snow, and it hasn't looked back since. Here, I mean, even the towns around us have have gotten a little reprieve, but I like the snow though. Like, I mean, most of the time, if but if it's not yeah, so fucking I don't mind cold. It. As long as it's calm, if the wind's not blowing and the sun's out, it doesn't it doesn't really matter. I like to go out and play in it, but don't get me wrong, summertime sounds pretty fucking nice right yeah. now. Yeah. Once it's below zero, it doesn't matter if it's ten below or twenty five below. It's just too cold. Yeah. You you freeze your goddamn fingers just getting your keys put in your ignition. I mean that's stupid. Your freezer doesn't even keep things that it, cold. Yeah. If there if there's a god, he doesn't love us very much. <laughs> He just wants you to harden the fuck up is all. Jesus, he wants me to commit suicide. This, this kind of weather is, I understand. I don't think he needs you that bad, John. I, under, <laughs> I understand why people commit suicide in the wintertime. I mean, it's, this has been a depressing fucking blues filled. If you don't get some sunshine, it's real tough. Nonstop, too. I mean, it's just. You don't really have any sunshine facing windows in your house either, no, do I you? No, I don't. And that's, in I, the morning, I guess you do. If I get exercise moving my tomato plants around. I need to plant mine. Get them started anyway. Well, I got mine started in January. Yeah, so you'd be fucking pumping out tomatoes by March. You'd think, you'd no, think. No, you'll get these giant plants and you'll have to put them in the ground too early. I know, <laughs> they'll, they'll freeze. We're gonna the freeze. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I, oh, and they're like my babies too. They're, for some reason, I have this obsession with tomato plants. I, there's nothing better than a good fresh tomato. You know, that's. I mean, I guess there's lots better than that. I, I like sex <laughs> better say, than tomato plants. There's always a dirty like, pair of panties. <laughs> or socks. <laughs> or socks. <laughs> that socks. <laughs> I get to blame it on the dog. So, I've been kind of freaking myself out lately. Not, I don't know, not so much that I think it'll take anything that too many of my industries that I do, but there's a shit ton of industries that in our lifetime, we're going to see robotics take over. Oh, yeah. And, like, I mean, everything from trucking to, I mean, a lot of call centers are already fully automated, you know. Yep. Like, so you go I get them all the time. Self- Your warranty is about to expire. Yeah, self-checkout, you know. Yeah. Uh, there's one, there's a new one, and it's this supermarket robot, and all it does is wander around the aisles looking for spills and then cleans up the spills. So it's kind of like a big robotic vacuum. But they put googly eyes on the fucker. Oh, my God. <laughs> and named Dude, it the- Marty. <laughs> but- <laughs> <laughs> it's got a name. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, that takes away somebody's job, obviously. I mean, it- I named our Roomba Rosie, cause, you know, like off the Jetsons. But those- oh, yeah, sure. That little sucker works good, and that's what it is, a little vacuum. It's a little sucker. So uh, it was funny. The first day I got it, I was just amazed. I'd never really seen a Roomba in action, and it just goes to cleaning the floor. Great, you know. I mean, I knew they were supposed to, but I'm sitting I'm, on the couch, and I kept going, man, look at that little sucker go. So my daughter would parade around for, like, the next few weeks every time the Roomba would go. She goes, look at that little sucker go. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've never have uh, – my house has never picked up enough to use something like that. It doesn't have to be. It like it's got sensors and it stops on the shit. No, but still, it would it would just it would do 180 degrees because no, it move a lot of shit too. Like stuff like if it's a stuffed uh, animal, it'll push it all the way to the damn wall if it has to. But my dog is funny around my vacuum cleaner. He's not really scared of it. He's more interested in it. He runs he runs by it and just gives it a quick look as he's going by at 40 miles an hour. And then have he you ever showed him like, like a garden hose? Oh yeah, he loves a garden hose. Does he? Yeah. He Some dogs will sit and try and bite it, you yeah. know. He's, I mean, he's pretty funny. He's pretty smart. He, he's uh, a year and a half old, and he just, I don't know. He, he understands what I'm saying. Like right now, he's pestering me because he's bored in here. 
Well, he's only got so much smarts to teach him in that little apartment. True. I know. <laughs> that sucks for him, too. But usually he's calm, too. He, he's got a chair. He just lays in his chair. And uh, he's normally he's pretty good. But like I said the other day, we were entertaining another dog, and he had to show off. So I think he had to chew up everything in his line of sight. You know, I was just thinking about it being cold out. This is way off subject, but maybe the, the people that moved over here just really hated salt, and they didn't want to salt all their meat all the time, and they would just... Uh, <laughs> they wanted a freezer. They figured that they could freeze it in the wintertime. <laughs> uh, maybe. <laughs> Six months uh, of the year, they'd have unsalted food. They could just freeze I that I don't shit. know why somebody would live here. I, I mean, even with modern technology, it's hard to live here. Well, with modern technology, you have a vehicle you could drive away. <laughs> If it started. Yeah. <laughs> <It's good. laughs> Salisbury wrote that song called The, the Vacuum. And it always just sucks you back in. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I, I complain and whine and cry about it, but every winter I'm here complaining, whining, and crying about it. But Well, see, I love to ski and snowboard and stuff, but, I mean, we're still a couple still hundred far miles from away. that. Yeah, yeah. but, That's like I, mean, but I live in Montana, so by right. association, you know, you're... That's like even buying snowmobiles around here. You still got to travel to use them unless you oh, yeah. want to risk running them into a rock or a, something out in the prairie. I mean, but, I yeah. don't know. It's just for around here, the only thing. I can't believe we don't have a hockey team around here. No but, shit. Glasgow does. Glasgow does. Haver does. I, just, I don't get it. I think there would be a lot of good hockey players from here. You're probably right. But. Who knows? Nobody's ever started one. We've never had one. We don't have anybody that could take the reins of it. I mean, it's I like, couldn't teach you hockey. I, yeah, know. I, mean, I, I, I to, couldn't do it. We used to play some like backyard hockey when sure, I was a little kid. Sure. But I yeah, actually, I, I had hockey skates and everything, but I never did. I've uh, never put on no, hockey pads. Me neither. I've never. Nor would I have been big enough at that age. I would have got right. smoked in hockey. Yeah. Maybe Still, about like it would have been. A, it would have been fun though. I mean that. I mean, there's an advantage also to being small and quick in hockey. Yeah, if I could still play for the junior high team now that I'm 36, that wouldn't be so bad, but fuck. Right, yeah. <laughs> I'm about average but, size with them. I yeah. s- when I'm sitting in the stands watching my son wrestle, I'm seeing kids bigger than me in junior high getting called uh, to the mat. Right. 185, down to the mat, please. And I'm yeah. going, that kid's got 20 pounds on me. More like, than that, even. But there's a, I bet there's a lot of kids that would probably play hockey around here that don't play any other sports. I think it'd be a great sport for around here. I'd You're probably right. I bet there would be a few good hockey players. Because you know, not everybody's into basketball and football. No. Yep. It's you see, uh, you did see it. <laughs> the fucking, there's a New York sex shop getting sued <laughs> because of all the condoms dumped down the sewage that there's a six-foot condom wall blocking one of the grates. They, wow. can't, they can't clean it out. <laughs> I thought that was my ex-girlfriend. I thought that was her apartment. <laughs> yeah, I bet. You know they didn't use condoms. That's true. That's, yeah, they just got AIDS vaccines backed up. <laughs> That's mean. <laughs> Doesn't matter which ex-girlfriend you're talking about. Because all that uh, means is you've got AIDS. No, it doesn't. <laughs> that was after me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you think it wasn't like that before you got there? Oh, yeah. I guarantee. Huh. <laughs> God, could I you never, imagine in a roundabout way getting that fucking? I never even had getting that letter from the city. Yeah, your yeah, your sex shops being sued because too many people throw their fucking condoms well, down the toilet. Well, what are they? What, can you imagine now the sex shop has to actually come down on their customers? They probably know who it was. They probably know who the. I mean, there's probably a. I hate to say the word handful of people that <laughs> <laughs> that they know. Uh, well, and what, you know, it's got to be the prostitutes and then the... Uh, you would think. So I, well, just anybody flushing them, I guess. Every, I mean, if everybody has sex with a condom, they're flushing them. I don't... Not everybody well, has sex with a condom, they're but... They're sex shops. They're, is, I mean, it, does that mean that, obviously, it must mean they have sex there? But Why'd usually, put, if I hear the word sex shop, I think of, like, a novelty store. Why'd you put a, a damn label on your condom? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh... <laughs> yeah, you know, that's like the, you ever seen the, the serial number at the end of one? Never had to roll it up that far, huh? Actually, last one I had <laughs> went all the way into pi about 47 digits, but. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had to wear one. I'm still a virgin, actually. Like, uh-huh. I have a couple of kids and a couple of grandkids now, and they, uh, they, I just had a wet dream and they rolled in it. Yeah, I'm sure that's what happened. <laughs>
Fuck. I was I was raised better than premarital sex. <laughs> Actually, I'm just too rude to get it. Just yeah. <laughs> so you've officially had sex twice? No, it's wet <laughs> dreams and they rolled in it. That's what I'm telling you. I'm gonna let my dog out again. All right. He's being a dink. Let me pause it. And we're back. <laughs> Still cold outside. Still. Uh, still, we got... How many heaters we got running in here? One, two, three. Three? Three heaters and a heat lamp. That ought to God. jack the power bill. They're probably wondering what the hell I'm doing out here in the garage. <laughs> they think you're growing. Just running power tools is all I'm doing. God. <laughs> it's, it's stupid. That's, man, you, that's what I mean. Is it For one, during the winter, there's not a lot of work to be had, but your freaking power bill... So, I mean, yeah, it's like expensive. five times what it should be, and God, and then every, but every other month you see on your power bill that oh we've been approved to raise our rates because of whatever, Jesus, I, uh, how they get away with it? No shit. Well, you'd think that by now we could have found a way to individually power each other's houses, or we probably can. They just don't allow it because it makes so much money. Yeah, there's there's, there's no so many money in a cure. Co- there's so many things in this country that are strictly done because of money. Yeah, and there's no money, money in a cure. It's and it probably it's all has to do with oil and pharmaceuticals. It's it's crazy world we live everything. in. Everything. I'm gonna send you that link to that. If if any of my listeners haven't listened to it, if you want pure podcast entertainment gold, listen to Rogan with Alex Jones on there. Alex Jones is the guy of Infowars, which a lot of times he sounds kind of like a crazy fucker, but a lot of times he's dead right about some crazy conspiracy theory stuff. But he gets on Rogan, and they do a five-hour fucking podcast, wow. and it's gold the whole way through. It's just crazy, and crazy, and Alex Jones is crazy, and... It's fucking wild, the stuff he talks about, though, because, I mean, he talks about deep government stuff, you know, and whatnot, but, and whether even half of it's true or he's just a quack, still entertaining to listen to. Yeah. I mean, I'll always entertain a conspiracy theory just to listen to it, you know, like, what the hell, whether you believe it or don't believe it. I like to hear other people's ideas and opinions and... Well, sure. I, I like to, I like to laugh at a lot of them. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, yeah, a lot of them are crazy as shit. I mean, like, real crazy, but, you know. It, did we land on the moon? Did, well, I, I think, think probably. Dude, yeah. think, about, think about the technology that we have now. I, I think we might have landed on the moon, but I, I don't quite think that we... I, they might have fried their camera systems running through the radiation and then faked most of the footage. Maybe, maybe. I don't think a lot of the footage is right because there is some of them that is truly been shown as fake. That but they, you know, just think about like how far our cell phones have come in the last five years. Oh yeah, isn't it wild? And then you know, think about what what the government probably has that they just haven't even told us about. They're probably using the technology we have today 20 years ago. Yeah, you, I mean, you never know. You would get, well, yeah, there was a thing on that deal on Rogan's podcast today. They showed the patent for virtual reality that literally was the exact virtual reality looking like what we have today, and it was patented in 1965. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying is, is the smartest, best minds in, in the world are working for for these guys and they're not telling us everything they have i mean it would and and deservedly so rightfully so the, well they can't for right one, you know. right I and mean, they, they can't create mass hysteria and they can't let enemies know what we have so yeah. i'm guessing 20 years ago they well and i guess it was more than 20 years ago but still point being that they were 20 to 30 years advanced of Normal society, you know, comparatively, I suppose that that they were the the technology they were using. I'd lo- that stuff drives me crazy. I'd love to like just go in and see what they have at DARPA, you know, or Roswell. Yeah, I mean, wherever you know, I, whether Roswell's a facade now or what, but I, you know, I mean, I'm sure at one point there was some crazy shit going on one way or another, and it'd be fun to just be able to 
be a fly on the wall, you know, and no. know the technology or see. Maybe it'd be scary as shit. Who knows? But it'd be yeah. pretty wild. I, I, I don't know. I wouldn't want to be any part of the White House right now. Oh, man. <laughs> no kidding. Politics in general, it's really getting shook up one way or another, oh, both uh, every way and upside down and yeah. sideways. And the, the lobbyists are really trying to hang on to it as much as they can because that's where the huge, huge money is, oh, you know, yeah. is controlling things there's for certain no, corporations. There's no money in a cure. No, but exactly. As long as there's problems, people will be happy because it creates jobs for greedy people. Because how could you not have your yacht, you greedy motherfuckers? Right. And that's all, and that's like all the Washington, D.C. and lobbyists are, are the... It, if they were out of a job, America would be doing great. I, I, I mean, I... I agree that, you know, capitalism, if you make a lot and you make the best business in the world, you should rise to the top. Oh, yeah, you should but be rewarded But once you start for getting corrupted once you're there at yep. the top is where what worries me. Yeah, the whole, um, I have a billion dollars, so I can afford to hire the guy that's going to teach me to cheat another three million. Well, but, you, don't, you don't want that billion dollars to go away if you had it, you know? Right, right. It's kind of crazy, I, I just, I mean, uh, uh, right. You know, you should, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be punished for, for doing well, but at the same time, you should, you shouldn't be just completely exonerated from doing your part because, because you have enough money to write it off. Yeah, you, well, why can't they all be more like Pearl Jam? <laughs> because. Just giving money back. Giving not things everybody's. To- and I understand there's a lot of people that hate Pearl Jam for their political stance. I get that. But when they're giving money away left and right, just out of their tickets that they sell, that's fucking awesome. I mean, yeah. $10 million is no small yeah, chunk no, of change for a band to give away. That's pretty impressive. I, no matter what, that's pretty impl- impressive. Implosive. Pretty implosive. Plastic blue. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, I read this one. Also on Reddit, uh, traditions are dead people peer pressuring us. Traditions are dead people peer pressuring. Yeah, traditions are just dead people peer <laughs> pressuring is, uh, us. When I said it's on, I heard uh, it was during the football season. It's only, it's only superstition if it doesn't work. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> the phrase "calm down" has a one hundred percent failure rate. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's funny. <laughs> that's the truth. <laughs> so you always think it's going to work, too. Just, just calm down. Calm the fuck down. You what? Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. Some, yeah, tell me to calm down and see what happens. Yep. The, <laughs> God. That's like the other day somebody said, do you want me to drive? <laughs> that makes you always... Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> think you can do better in this wind and snow? Do you want me to drive? Then I uh, realized I'd gone three feet in about half an hour, <laughs> and the the beer running through my system was. I I let someone else drive. It was <laughs> it was quite apparent, but seven, still seven seven miles an hour. Sir. It still pissed me off. Nobody. Yeah. Here's here's one thing. Everybody thinks they're a good driver. And you know, I didn't. I knew I needed someone to. I knew I needed her to drive, but I had. I could have. I would have come up with it on my own, and. I I actually offered right off the bat, and. No no no, then about a mile away. Okay, give me the keys. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> yeah. But you know, dude can't be right right off the bat. <laughs> no shit. I mean, that's just simple as that. I am gonna see dude driving your pickup down the road someday. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> I need to teach you to pull a sled. You need to get a horse that where they just take your drunk ass home. No shit. Load up on it and it'll ride you, you right to the I house. Think you still can get a DUI on a horse, I think. Can you? Yeah. Still I, to this day. I think so. I suppose if you're really intoxicated and slobbering all over and. Yeah, I mean, it, I think they call it uh, animal cruelty. It's if you're two a.m. mint bar drunk, then yeah, something like that. I'm not. I don't remember. There's some. I think that's like one of those old fucking laws on the books that 
like uh, strippers must wear eight pounds of clothes or some yeah, shit like it's, that. And it's all I in their heels. Know. That's, That's stupid shit. Sometimes you wonder how certain laws got passed, you know? Yeah, well, I mean, what what did somebody do to make that happen? <laughs> Just like, you know, when you go get coffee at McDonald's, it says caution hot. Well, no shit, Sherlock. But, yeah. you know, it's... But, uh, you know, on another hand, why the fuck do you got to make coffee so hot you can't drink it for 30 minutes? Right. What's the point? That's, when I go get coffee, like at the convenience store, I put a couple ice cubes in the I bottom. I do too. So I can... I want to drink it right away. Yeah. I ain't going to buy coffee so I can drink it 30 minutes later. What the oh, fuck? Why do they make stupid. it so hot? you got to wait till you get to have her before you Does can take a sip. Does coffee have to be that hot to brew? No, it doesn't have to be that hot to brew. You could do cold brew overnight if you wanted, but why? The, why is coffee 4,000 fucking piping hot degrees? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Even your regular coffee maker makes it at a fucking bazillion degrees Fahrenheit. But it's not as hot as convenience store coffee. No, no. That shit that sat there for half the day in their super machine? Yeah. It turned half syrup. It's, yeah, now it's like molten lava. That shit had burned the soul out of Satan. It's fucking terribly hot. I, I know. You it, spill it on you, you are in pain. I think it's burned the soul out of quite a few people. I know a lot of people that drink a lot of convenience store coffee, and they're assholes. <laughs> Good point. <Yeah. laughs> I looking, like to ma- looking at you, Shane Carnahan. Well, I like to drink. My, <laughs> I like to make my own coffee. I don't trust that shit that other people make. As far as even as far as I don't even like to go eat unless it's in my kitchen, yeah. or or your kitchen. You know what I mean? Unless I, I know. I prefer to cook my own food. Yeah. I I don't get me wrong. Going to a good restaurant is sometimes I don't like fun. It. But I hate it. I can't stand it. If it's a good restaurant, but I really like to cook my own food. I yeah. I know like, how I like it. They don't. And I, yeah, and I feel like I do a better job of it. Or Carol does a better job well, of it. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's what I mean is, you know. It, but it tastes so much better when you cook it home. It's so much fresher, oh, yeah. I feel like. Yeah. Oh, I agree. I would, I, I very rarely do I order something from anywhere besides my kitchen. Every once in a while I want a gut bomb hamburger or something, you know, and I'll go grab one. But it's pretty rare. And I got, I got buddies that own fast food joints and stuff and I tell them all the time I'm like I'm sorry it ain't yeah. nothing against your store that I'm like I eat at home a lot and they, they're like yeah that's that's good yeah. I'd rather not see so yeah I, I don't know not, but then as a as a single guy it's almost cheaper to go somewhere and order yeah for or, how much you gotta buy order something store. as opposed to you dirty every dish in the goddamn kitchen you and know you know it, it costs you 30 bucks to make a $12 meal Carol and then you gotta clean ext- up after it. Carol could make an extravagant five course fucking meal. And when she's done, there's not even hardly a plate la- like dirty. Jesus. I make a fucking cheeseburger and the whole kitchen looks like it's been nuked. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just I just did I cleaned up my whole kitchen and living room the other day and I was pretty proud of myself and then what was it? I then I went home and I had a few beers for the first time in a long time. The next morning, my house was trashed. Just after like three beers. And I, I don't think I did more than make ramen noodles. And <laughs> somehow I destroyed my kitchen. I, I don't know what it is. You ever but. get some like good combinations when you're real drunk and you go to eat, mix a couple foods together or you're trying to mix some leftovers into a full meal and here you're creating shit. Yeah. It tastes great drunk and then you wake up the next yeah. morning hungover and you go, what the fuck Why? did I eat? Yeah, you can smell it on your fingers yeah. and your clothes. You idiot. The other day, I, I, I woke up in my bed with my shirt off. I must have been getting undressed for bed and I woke up, I was in bed, but I had my shirt off and I had my pants and socks and shoes still on. I just <laughs> didn't quite make the, make the full, Almost the full there. Monty. Yeah. You know. <laughs> I, there's a lot of times I get, I'm so restless, tired, you know, but I'll lay down thinking that I'm not. And then that's, that's how you know, I am. wake I, up two hours later. I end up staying awake for days at a time just because I can't sleep. Finally, my body goes, all right, that's it. That's enough. And, and I'm done. And I think that's must, that must've been what happened the other night was because I just, I just don't sleep well. And not to mention at this time of year when you're hardly getting out, you're not getting exercise. That's my you're problem. I got not a, eating right. I got a skateboard with those, you know, those skate trainers in my bedroom. So I, when I'm working on my computer, I'll get up and like kick flip five times and then sit back down, you know, whatever. But during the summer, I actually get out and skate for 15, 20 minutes and like break a sweat and feel like I've moved around. And right. 
right yeah. now you can it's not like you can run enough laps around the house to feel good no. about yourself jesus no it's for one you'll get frostbite from the wind the wind chill factor of no just shit. running in the, in this cold weather not to mention there's the whole chance of slipping and breaking your skull open <laughs> i I was wanting to go skiing again this weekend. Then I looked at the forecast, and like I said, it, Sunday, the day that I'd want to go, it's supposed to be like fucking five below again. Jesus. I hate that, man. Like, I just just warm up to ten above even, and I'd be happy. Yeah. Uh, one of these days. Well, today was, I think, 18 or 19. I can't imagine. Car- Carol's from Florida. She lives here and just hates it. Hates <laughs> the cold. This is- I'm from Malta, and I hate the cold. Well, I know. Yeah, well, I, I run a company called Montartica, and I, <laughs> I know. still bitch about it when it's below zero. I don't God. know. I'd rather it wasn't that fucking cold out, but... Well, Jesus. I, well, and think about... There's, it's about cabin season. It's time for... I mean, it, we got we to gotta get a little bit of sunshine and a little bit of warmth here. Or shit's going to really go south. That's another, going south, wouldn't that be even getting warmer? That's like when you say shit's going downhill. Yeah. Shouldn't it, shouldn't going downhill be easier? It should be a no smooth, shit. easy ride, but downhill means it's going to get Everybody trouble. wants to reach the top of that mountain. Yeah, what, weird. But then you, yeah, it's a struggle to reach the top of them. You, you know, know, even though my friend, yeah, I got friends in Vegas that are sending me Snapchats of them and they're fucking... Uh, beanie and coat this Parkas. year. It's, it's fucking snowing in Vegas too, so. I mean, Good. But it's not fucking 40 below. I don't want to hear you bitching. I, don't yeah. I hope they get sand in their vagina. So I <laughs> hope the wind blows a little bit. Yeah, dust storms over there are nasty. They're nothing to fuck with. I can't imagine. Man, that's got to be hard on, like, vehicles and I would think just about anything. It can't be quite as hard as freezing them so much no, every night, No, that's true. Jeez, that's true. I can't. That's not. I know it's not good for my pickup. Holy crap! My pickup is just hating me. I prefer not to fucking get out if I don't have to right now. That's. I can go almost all day, and then it never fails. Somebody calls me right at about seven thirty, eight o'clock. Hey, can you come get me here? Can you bring me a? Can you? Can you bring me a blizzard? <laughs> yeah, cause ice cream's what you want in this yeah, weather. Yeah, I can do it. Of course, I can. That's eh, it takes me four hours to get my pickup warmed up just to go get a $6 blizzard that I have to pay for that I'm not even thanked for that <laughs> I end up probably getting dumped in my seat. John, you want to know some knowledge? <laughs> don't do it. You don't have to do it. <laughs> it's not my nature. <laughs> I have to do it. Fucking glutton for punishment is what you are. I know. I wouldn't be happy if I wasn't miserable. Maybe you should make me mad enough I can write another song. Hey, that's a good point. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, I'm not miserable. I'm giggling. What uh, NFL Combine's up? I guess that's some news. I, I haven't watched hardly any of it. No. It's just uh, it's kind of a crazy thing that these... What's that Kyler kind of Murray doing? 20-year-old, he's 5'10", that's all I know they measured him. But it's tw- these 20-year-old... signed year a baseball old, contract. These, these, no shit, why not? These 20-year-old kids... I, if you will play baseball, not only are you probably going to make just as much money, if not more. More. And you're not going to get hurt. you're not going to get hurt. Yeah. And you can play for way longer. Yeah. I guess it's not as exciting as football and no. winning the Super Bowl. Well, and I think that's part, part of his contract is he got, he got a big signing bonus, and he, but he only got like a third of it. Huh. I and, never heard and of it. it. And then uh, the rest of it depends on whether he signs in the NFL or not. And then yeah. he's got to pay... His a bunch of it back, and I mean, I I can see him going going well in the NFL, but he's already established now. I could see major him. Leagues. I could see him getting drafted by the Lions. They pay him his contract. He goes, Ah, you know what? I think I'm gonna play baseball. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't well, want to be part of the Lions. And he, he's already, you know, he's already drafted in baseball. He knows exactly where he stands there. Yeah. And geez, what did I just see? Some guy just signed a. Ten-year, three hundred million dollar contract in baseball. That's unbelievable. I mean, you got to be the elite of the elite to do that, but, huh? I mean, you, you might pull a hamstring running bases one day or something, but you're not gonna Maybe. get you're not gonna get these concussions. You're not gonna get your leg broke. You're not gonna. 
Mm -hmm. You're not going to possibly have a one year career. Right. I mean, like, then again, they play like 600 games a goddamn summer. Yeah, that's know. true. I've always, that's always baffled me with baseball. I guess if you're selling that many tickets, you know? Yeah. It's a lot of money in through the door if you're paying whatever people pay for a baseball well, ticket. I suppose if you're really good at it, it's probably fun. I mean, yeah. But I don't know. As a, as a spectator, I watch them during. I watch baseball games during the playoffs and the World Series. Pretty much but me too. But there's so many games that it's hard to keep track of all the teams and players and who's doing what. I mean, there's just too many games. I got no desire to. Yeah, no, it, just, it's not that exciting to me. No, it's all numbers, and I was never good at math. But yeah, baseball is, and it's it's just uh, it's too slow moving for me to sit and watch. Yep. Well, it, like I said, during the playoffs, it's it's exciting because you're watching the you know the best four teams or the yep. best eight teams, and usually there's you know whoever is the standout player of the year is on one of those teams, and I I don't know it. It would be tough to be a baseball fan for a baseball team that doesn't do well. <laughs> I'm a Lions fan, so I get it with football. But, but that's different. That's football. Football's exciting. It yeah. was to watch. Can you imagine being a, a baseball fan of the Cubs for those all those no, years sure. that they were terrible? I mean, the, the, the fucking Lions beat the Patriots this year, so I can hang my hat on that. Yeah, yeah. Just like you can hang your hat on uh, Robert Kraft's penis at the massage store. How about that? I, how, I feel like there's not Doesn't near enough news me. coming out. Doesn't surprise me. Me neither, but if you're a fucking billionaire, don't you think you could get laid if you wanted? Yeah, but this was basically anonymous. I mean, he went in there and he paid a girl... 75 bucks to give him a rub and tug yeah. where, he, where he would have had to pay probably thousands to get some other girl to do it and Not possibly you, you get me, sued. If you're a billionaire, there's get... plenty. Of, well, that's true. But also, if you're a billionaire and he had the money to fly to Florida, why the fuck didn't he fly to the Mustang Ranch and get it where it's legal? Because there would probably be cameras and he'd probably get caught. He probably figured this was his best chance at anonymity. Yeah, well, the cameras caught him anyway. They did, but so what? Big deal. What's it, what's it going to cost him? I'd be curious. Another 500 bucks? I'd be Big curious deal. if he's into the, if he's actually in on the human trafficking ring or something that's along the I that. doubt it. He's too smart so, for that. It, I get it, though, why he would go there and get a why rub and you? tug. His wife's of, dead. Well, and, and, and instead of, you know, picking up some girl or having some, you know, somebody who knows him is going to, is basically going to ambush him. Like you said, yeah, it might sue your ass. You might. Might? Shit, he's Robert Kraft. He... Yeah. I mean, I, I get it. I still think he could, I don't know. You should have what? a, he, right next to his bed, he should have a full notepad worth of sign this waiver. No shit. Yeah. There's always that, but I don't know. I, I, I don't think I, a, a plum stranger, a total stranger... I don't think I would find that. Maybe he just really likes very back rubs. Healing. I mean, I personally, I have to know a know a girl. I have to be pretty good friends. You know what I mean? I, enemies, you mean? I enemies, what frenemies, whatever. I I have to know him pretty goddamn well for me to even be attracted to him. Because just a total stranger. Because you got to let him know. Uh, there's a chance you could get my AIDS. <laughs> there's a chance. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I've reused this needle, this needle dick. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Daughter. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. By the way, I have a brand new grandson. Yeah, congratulations. Um, yeah, it, it's pretty cool. He's a pretty good looking fellow. I don't know if I can just think of his name. Apparently he he doesn't look like you at all, huh? <laughs> no, no. He he looks like his mom. He looked out. He looked out. You got some pretty strong genes anyway that Yeah. My my daughters have they have a lot of my features. But unfortunately they they look like me and act like their moms. <laughs> which I was hoping for the other. Yeah. But, you know. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. <laughs> Hopefully. It's uh, crazy to think you're a grandpa. 
Mateus is, I think, his name. I believe his name is Mateus. Yeah. So they call him Matt? Does it, yeah, and, the, and my granddaughter is Ariana, so I was like, hmm, Matt and Ann, huh? <laughs> All right, that's cool. These new yeah, fangled, boy. these kids these days, they, they can't just name them after a grandpa or a grandma. They have to come up with some goddamn weirdness. Yeah. That's whatever. I think it was Mateus. Uh, General, General Mateus. Mateus. Mateus start Elijah. Him, start calling him the General. The General. Ooh, to the General. <laughs> that ran <friend laughs> through my head, too. <laughs> uh, That's funny. Yeah, I'm, I've, been com- I've been trying to come up with nicknames that'll really piss their mom off. The General. It's Mateus. Oh, it shouldn't be too hard. Mateus Elijah McGinnis. Is his name? Here's a nude picture of him. <laughs> <laughs> First thing my daughter sent me was, <laughs> I think I'm not sure. I think it was her boyfriend maybe that sent it to me. I was like, "Wow, I'm gonna have to erase this. You get arrested for having a picture of my grandson." Child porn when you got a picture of your own kids. You know how many pictures I remember going through, like old photographs of my parents that had, you know, that would be like. Me and my cousins in the bathtub together or something, you know, yeah. as little kids just full yeah. of mud or... Yep. I got them too. That shit wasn't frowned upon then. No. I mean, I suppose it was a little bit, but... Well, neither was slapping a girl. Yeah, I guess. Good point. Or spanking your kid or, or whatever, you Lots know. of things, yeah. A lot of things can be wrong, but I really feel like... I mean, I, I don't. I also don't feel like picking on people that don't want to be picked on is very nice. But I also feel like there's a lot of things in America that we need to harden the fuck up. Yeah, everyone's a little and too start sensitive. Looking at the right yeah. idea of things, you know. People are so sensitive that it's it's like an it's a it's a epidemic. It's a sickness. Looking for a reason to. Yeah, I mean, there's uh, there's guys right now. That are trans, that are winning women's sports and then making a big stink about it because they, you know, they're a woman now. Right. That's not I, fair. It's not fair at all. I mean, I, you want to talk about what else isn't fair? There's a legally blind wrestler in Alabama just won a state championship. Holy shit, really? Yeah. How impressive is that? That's pretty cool. I mean, yeah, that's unbelievable. Oh, nice. You found one with the diaper on, anyway. I did, yeah. I put the diaper on that one. I I photoshopped it. (laughs) I believe you. (laughs) On your iPhone 5. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, if I knew. That's funny. (laughs) But yeah, could you imagine? I mean, a legally blind wrestler, couldn't you just, like, shake his hand and back up real fast? No kidding. Make him just fall? Well, he ain't going to fall, probably. I mean, but... Did you see that one where that guy... Dance around him Where they made that guy cut his hair off? Oh, yeah, yeah. They, like, gave him a minute to cut his hair off or forfeit the match. Yeah, well, we used to that have to. That is bullshit. You either, had to wear a, you either had to wear a hat or you had to cut off your hair. That's bullshit. I, I don't know. I, I, I didn't, very, read, very I didn't read that full article, but honestly, in regular wrestling, if your wow. hair is too long that it's in the way, that it's going to get... It had, it had something to do with his religion, too. I, I'm, and well, who knows? And I, nobody, I could say yeah, that, too. Yeah, but nobody else wants your fucking hair in their no, face. No, and I get it. Either. I get it. You got to shave your facial hair. But, man. Uh, huh. They made him do it right at the mat there. They, they made an official came over with the dull scissors that they used to cut tape or whatever. And it's against the rules. If you have hair, it's all huh. got to be tucked into a well, hair. If it's the rules, then it's the rules. He, yeah, it's the rules. Then he shouldn't have cried about it on the mat. Besides, a wrestler shouldn't cry when he's... I mean, he was going for, like, the state championship or something, too. I think it was a big deal. And But if that's the rules, he shouldn't have made it that far. And to his to his defense, I never read the full article. Maybe right, and I... And I on yes, there. correct. But I do know... That there's literally rules yeah. in wrestling that your hair could not be out. If it's then, too long, it But then he shouldn't have made it that far. He, yeah. I mean, it, it, I mean Andreas, Carol's little brother, he had to wear a hairnet because he's got crazy huh. shaggy hair this year. Yeah, that, then it, I just, I don't know. Somebody should have told him before. Uh, maybe it falls on his coach. Maybe, I mean, it, yeah. if he's been wrestling for however long, he should have known the rule. No shit. Definitely should have, I guess. I, well, maybe, I don't know. 
Maybe he did hmm. it just to be a shit, too. That might knows? be something we have to look up for a future. Yeah, I'll actually go read the full article. I don't want to be bashing on a guy that I know. maybe really got That's, feelings That sucks here. We sit here and think about things to talk about, and then we come up with things that we know nothing about. Yeah. I also read about uh, a Mapuche warrior in 1500. Defied the Spanish down there, like in Mexico or whatever, and uh, they cut his hands off. The guy lived, though. He went back and recruited a full army of people and came back with blades taped to his arms to fight the Spanish back. Jesus. That's, uh, That's pretty hardcore, huh? What that's a badass. Some, that's some hands-on experience. <laughs> hands off. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's, that's crazy, though. Imagine... You see this guy that you pissed off earlier and, coming and back with fucking blades on his when arm? When was this? Like in the... 1500. How did he keep them on? Just by leather straps? Yeah, probably. I don't Could know. Could you imagine how bad that must hurt? Not if I you're mean, mad. I don't know. Uh, the, the people that have prosthetic legs, they have, I mean, they have nerve pain and the, those oh, yeah. things hurt from wearing them. Could you imagine back then just, just go fucking tape some machetes to your arms Jesus. and start slicing fools up? Find some hot tar and Wah! what the shit, man? I I hope you don't have to wipe in the middle of that battle. Oh <laughs> man, talk about yeah. Then you might be looking for a sock. <laughs> <laughs> hey, honey, where's my socks? Well, you see, I got blades on yeah. my hands. <laughs> I don't want to poke through the paper. Hey, will you do me a favor, sweetheart? (laughs) I didn't say that in that uh, article. Maybe she has really long nails. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. How did she text? (laughs) Yeah, no shit. (laughs) Oh, my God. Speak to text. You don't want to touch the fucking phone after that. No kidding. Hey, Siri. (laughs) God. Oh, man. Have you heard stories about a poop knife? Have you ever ne- heard of not a poop until knife? now. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a poop knife? No. I'd never heard of it until recently. Is that, your, is that what they, is that your sphincter? No, no, no. Oh. Apparently it's fairly common in, like, households that got toilets that don't flush very good. To, to take, chop it up? Yeah. <laughs> they hang the fucker right in the bathroom, apparently. I, somebody was talking about it and, like, was all embarrassed about it. I, I was reading the message board. <laughs> I could have lived the rest of my life not knowing that. <laughs> I know. And apparently, on the message board, it, this guy was like, what the hell's a poop knife? We go over to my buddy's house, there's a poop knife. And he's telling wow. me about it. And the message board is full of people that their family had poop knives. I've never even used a bidet or what. I it? You know, I don't... Isn't I don't, that what they yeah. have in the European they should, hotel everybody rooms? Everybody should fucking have a bidet. Oh, yeah, I think If you got great. poop on any other part of your body, would you just smear yeah. it around with toilet paper till you thought it was gone? Right. That's would a, you wash that shit off? Well, and that's like, you know, everybody tells you to wash your hands after you take a leak. Well, my penis is the cleanest part of my body. <laughs> and I didn't pee on my hands. Yeah. So... It's not like you grip your dick over the pee hole while you're trying to pee. No. Not, unless it's... Real short. I don't well, know, and unless it's late at night and you're walking into the wrong room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to be in here. Did you no, ever see any I, of your friends' moms naked when you were a little kid? No. You didn't? No. I had the pleasure once. Oh, man. It wasn't a pleasure. Worst part about it was I was getting up to go pee and go home. And she went jogging across the hallway and from the bathroom into her bedroom, and she wasn't a sight to see. Like like grandma's boy. But yeah, and <laughs> oh my I, god, I can't stop coming! Oh, I seen your I seen your stepmom naked. Wow. I run back in the room and I'm hiding out. And I'm like, kind of giggling, I trying not to make enough noise to you know. I don't know what. But I'd then do. I'm mortified. Yeah. I'm like, I can't leave now, and right. I got to pee. I was heading to the bathroom, and now, I had to pee yeah, so now bad. How you, now how do you face her at breakfast? Oh fucking! We made eye contact. Time, right? And I'm holding this pee for... I, that's the worst part I remember is laying in there, oh. holding my pee, thinking, is it safe to go to the bathroom yet? This is fucking embarrassing. Oh, my God. Wow. No, I've... Uh, I, I don't know. I've, I've made a whole lifetime out of making sure I don't see more naked people than I have to. Sometimes, not to my advantage. It's a terrible life goal. Yeah. 
but you ever see your parents naked? No. Nope. Like not you never caught them? No. Nope. No. My dad in his underwear. Yeah, well, my dad. Fuck, my dad would walk half the afternoon in his underwear if it was on a day off. Yeah, I, I still, I man, when I get home, I get in my pajamas or my underwear, and yeah. I've answered the door several times, just not even thinking about it. You know that. I guess, you know, big deal. A guy in his underwear is no different than a guy in his swimming trunks. Or I mean, not exactly a Calvin Klein ad if you're looking at my white ass. But it's <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Yeah, there's nothing beautiful to see. It, <laughs> but, no. Try not to get turned on, UPS man. I just need my parts. Yeah, all right, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, officer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it makes that meeting a little bit shorter. Well, you know, actually, I've been in the back of a cop car naked, too. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a good story that you've. We've had it on here, but God damn it, it's funny every time. I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know how after one semi-successful streaking mission, you haven't tried it again. Well, I'll tell you why. It was very expensive, <laughs> and it was it was pretty humiliating to explain to people. <laughs> try, yeah, try going to Thanksgiving when your grandma asks you about it. I heard this. Well, grandma, I can't lie to you. No, See it was a way shorter story than that, Grandma. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, there's so many jokes about that, about the short story, and the fine was only so small. And <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Apparently, they shouldn't have fined you so much. Yeah, uh, and then yeah, going to the bar afterwards, and you should have said that too when they gave you your fine. You said, Apparently, I'm paying by the inch. Uh, yeah. I... <laughs> I had I. There's nothing I could say. It was already one of the most humiliating things that. There was a guy, there was this big fat guy that they picked up to, and he rode to the jail with me. He had court the same day, and he was, in, he was there for stealing one of those 40-ounce beers out of a convenience store. And apparently it wasn't the first time, and he, was, da, 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 and he wasn't too big a deal, and I'm mortified. A couple I'm, white-collar criminals I'm there. I'm dying, yeah, I'm dying because I know I'm going to court for running naked through a giant bunch of people. And he made me tell the story. And as soon as I said it, that guy just about peed his pants because he he didn't know what I was in there for, because I I wasn't just broadcasting it, you know. Yeah. And he told me all about his life story the whole time we were riding to the courthouse, and I was just quiet. I didn't have anything to say. <laughs> Finally, the judge made me tell the story, and that guy he they asked him to they escorted him out of the courthouse and at least like out of the room because he couldn't quit laughing it and it was disrupting the <laughs> disrupting the court so they had they made him leave god <laughs> yeah so anybody out there i don't recommend taking your clothes off and running through a demolition derby it's fucking funny it's just what i know at least you didn't do it one do it at one in your hometown no, you went to a way bigger one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my hometown, somebody probably wouldn't have put something in my drink that caused me to do it. Oh, that's what happened, huh? That's exactly what happened. That's Says the guy drinking man cans of fucking mildew saw. best ice. <laughs> somebody put something in there. You wouldn't even waste the money uh, on a roofie on one of those things. I don't know. I might. <laughs> just so I that's why I'm like, sleep. man, don't just, don't roofie me. Let me know so I can enjoy it coming. Oh, that's funny. I'm going to pause for a second. I'm going to grab a... I'm going to actually crack a beer, I think. Got yeah. Well, I got that beer. <laughs> wasn't me. I'm not allowed to drink. Yeah, well, me neither. <laughs> I don't I don't <laughs> drink anymore. I don't I'm, drink any less either. One, hopefully it makes me go to sleep tonight. I was... Uh, I was told by people of some that think they're of some great importance that I shouldn't drink. Well, I don't think they're that important. I was going to say, do you ever consider maybe they are important? No, they're not. They're, uh, <laughs> <laughs> they, they think they are. They have, they have a little bit of power, so they try to wield that power over me. And quite frankly, if they're not doing anything for me... It's not obligated. Power over another human really, really will show off your character. I agree. Whether you're a boss or you're yeah. a, anybody. See, Power I've, over another human. Child and family services. 
Yeah, whatever you are, you know, it doesn't matter. But power over another human will really show your true character. Yeah. So I, uh, I'm showing them mine. I, I've done everything for a year that they asked Brilliant. me to do. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm, I don't know. Oh, you know, I, I've seen you go through the struggles over the year, and I. I've done everything they've asked me to do, and it's still not good enough. So I don't think there's any way I can ever be good enough for them. So why? So, what do you do? What do you do? You just you just be you, I guess. No more acting like somebody else. I'm just not gonna do it anymore. I'm gonna show everybody just how big a dick I really am. I'm gonna quit being nice. I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> so now you're <laughs> from the same guy that just told me uh, I can't help but be nice. Uh, I got no other <laughs> choice but to be nice. They like, fuck me over and I'm nice. I'm gonna save all my money for just me to spend on to yeah give to things you shouldn't give to girls that are assholes to me why because i'm nice i don't have to be that nice do i you're not old enough to not think with your dick anymore still <laughs> i know that's the that's the thing is what the shit man i'm, I'm not really i'm not doing it just i'm not doing it to get laid i just do it because yeah, i uh-huh. well it's not working <laughs> if i am <laughs> Well, guys got to try, even if it ain't working. <laughs> <laughs> I did not have sex with that lady. Yeah, well. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Even if they, you know, flirt with you a little bit, it's better what is than the, not getting flirted with. What is with. the technicality, though? You can. Bill Clinton got away with saying he didn't have sex with Monica Lewinsky. Yeah. And, and yeah. I guess technically, got a hummer. De- technically he didn't. At least or, he got off. Or that time. I don't know. It, who knows? Depends on who you believe, I guess. That'd be the toughest part about being famous. I mean, not that, like, you'd be a cheating son of a bitch, but no matter what you do, people are always out trying to yep. sabotage your ass. Yep, you'd want you'd want your high school sweetheart with you, I think. Otherwise, how would you trust? You know what <laughs> I don't get a lot? Nobody steals my credit card numbers. <laughs> no shit, right? Yeah. Would someone please take my identity? Uh, geez. Jeez. Trade me. <laughs> God. That's funny. Oh shit! No, I think the if you were if you were a rock star or the president, you, you I think you'd want like your high school sweetheart or one of your your best friend. You know, that's a girl. See a few or, of them, like the, some of the most successful ones, are with you know like yeah. somebody that's been there before. Then because it, but you'd, then again, you see a lot of Tiger Woods cases yeah, too. Yeah, yep. Well, and that's not a, that's that's mostly on Tiger. It, yeah, but you get that famous. That's it's like what what's it's Neil Armstrong a, right. do after he lands on the moon? It's, right, it's like telling a crackhead not to. He goes to, do to drinking crackhead. because he can't fucking find anything that's more right. exciting than what he's already done. Yeah, no, and it's and and I get it. I I get that way get after it. every one of the shows that I do, I, at least for a week or two after I do a a decently big show. I'm like, now what? You know, you put yeah. so much effort yeah. and time into it. Yeah, that that consumes your everything, the, and then you get done, and like you get that you yeah. reach the pinnacle or whatever pinnacle or failure, whatever. Right. Well, and adrenaline way, nonstop. Yeah, that's it, and then it stops. Yeah, and then you're like, yeah, regular life. What yeah. do I do now? Well, and and I get it. You know that there's temptation all around every corner, and it would be it would be hard if but, you're a good looking man or girl, I guess. Right. Right. <laughs> yes. There's there's always. I don't know. I see everything. There's the always though. that end of the spectrum too, there's but the, I. I mean, as like the president or a rock star or a pro athlete. Oh, I, yeah. I mean, I get That's it. That's what I'm saying about Robert Kraft. Yeah. And that, that doesn't You're, surprise you me. You own the world champion right. Patriots, the dynasty. Yeah. The, but he got you, to be I guarantee you, you could find at this massage parlor. Some hot Patriots yeah. fan that just couldn't wait to be like, it I'm was sure. Robert Kraft. But then there's that whole... The, if they know who he is, they're then, gonna they're gonna use it to their advantage. It, yep. Just like me being nice, people, girls that hate me get fifty bucks off of me just walking down the street. I mean, <laughs> and it's and I, I'm not gonna say that I will never I don't know do if it's it again. Being nice or being dumb. <laughs> I'm, and I'm not gonna say I'll never do it again. I just because I, usually I'll get like the precursor text. Hey, blah 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 blah, and I'll go. <laughs> 
You're texting her, aren't you? And That's right. Go, I, how the fuck do you know? Well, how wouldn't uh, I know? <laughs> I accidentally texted Travis today while he was in the house and I was out in the garage. <laughs> I sent him the wrong text and I kind of made myself guilt, guilty. <laughs> so, yeah, obviously he knew what I was up to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did know what you were up to. So, yeah, my wallet. I just didn't know you were up to it three different my, ways. My, <laughs> my wallet's empty and they all hate me. <laughs> Next month, though, if I have you five bucks in there, they'll like be you. talking to me again. Imagine if they, how much they'd like you if you were rich. Yeah. You'd have all fucking three of them living at your house with you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would not. <laughs> Bet me. They, this they, podcast hits it big. <laughs> they would all got, three have their own house. You instantly got roommates. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they let me babysit their dogs. Oh, that's funny. Hey, will you take care of my dog, feed it and clothe it and watch it and wash it? And... <laughs> By the way, will you bet my kid this? We... They call it a dog these I days. I will, of course I will. Well, you can't let a dog or a kid I'm, go cold or hungry. I've called it a woofer, but not a dog. <laughs> well, I have several names for it. I don't think we're talking about the same thing, but... <laughs> yeah, I'm a sucker. But I'd rather I'd rather uh, people remember me for being a good guy than than you're not worried at all about who remembers you though being a good guy. No, no. no. <laughs> they're all all they're all gonna say bad shit about me regardless, because it, it it's it goes in cycles. It, it just truly does. It, it goes in cycles. I just, it, most people's cycles change a little bit though. Yours just no. I repeat. But that's because that's what I'm, that's what I know. That's what I'm comfortable with. That's my, you know what I mean? Uh, I don't like meeting new people. Slow I don't, learner. I don't like meeting new people. Oh, I get that, I guess, but you should try it. I know. <laughs> I should have met more when I was comfortable with it. We should set you up with a farmersonly.com account. <laughs> yeah. Or a tender. <laughs> that could be our next topic on the podcast is John's tender. Oh, and my how account. It's going. No shit. Set you up with a Plenty of Fish account. You'll probably meet the woman of your dreams. Uh, yeah. And she'll live in Botswana. No, there's plenty of them that'd be close to you, I'm sure of it. Yeah. Because we live where there's lots of single girls that want to... Well, you might have to expand your horizons to Chinook or something. She might have seen you <laughs> naked once, so there could be a fucking... So then it's a no deal. <laughs> I'm <gonna> try Glasgow. Oh... <laughs> uh. Our Glasgow's full of STDs. <laughs> Rumor has it. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> did, I, your, did, did you suppose every other... I mean, I get that sports teams have rivals. What do you suppose the worst rivalries are? I Yankees mean, and Red Sox. Yeah. Has to sure. be, doesn't it? I mean... I bet there's college ones that are worse. Yeah, Michigan, right, Ohio right, State. Right, yeah, MSU, U of M. Yeah. You're right. But there's some nasty shit that's happened over the years as high school pranks even. Yeah, I we I when I was in high school we never got that into it. I mean I don't, Glasgow was our rival. Oh, but ours then was big time. But then uh, as the time went on it didn't seem like they were it, w- it was only I mean, we kicked the shit out of them. I mean they kicked the shit out of us for a lot of years yeah. and then all of a sudden the tides turned. And uh, now it seems like uh, Fairfield and Baker. And For those of you French that don't town. know, Glasgow is a town 70 miles from where it's we almost live. exactly like Malta, only. And, and that's different. And that's one of the closest towns to us, yep. to where we're at, that's the same size as us. And I have a lot so of So, those of you that, there. that aren't from Montana or from North Montartico, like we said, there's not. We live in a town of what, like 1,800, maybe 2,000? Maybe on, on a good day. day. And uh, the closest town. To us, that's similar in size is sixty yeah. to seventy miles away. And and I've got a lot of friends there. And I obviously you grow up. Oh, I do too. Playing you know high school athletics with them, you get to know them. Um, just like Harlem and Haver, you know, you you get to know these guys. And I'll still laugh if they slip on the snow. Oh yeah, no, that's <laughs> one. That's one thing I can do is make fun of Glasgow person. They even they have an accent. You can tell they they're have an accent. You can tell they're different. <laughs> that's racist. <laughs> 
I, when I lived is in, that racist? What, 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 when pretty I lived, soon rivals are going to offend people. Yeah, Can you not I be mean to your rivals anymore? Is that, that going to be something that well, people... I are? hope I offended them all. Uh, <laughs> when I lived in Colorado, I got a telemarketer one time, and she said, Oh, are you? do you live in Canada? And I said, You called me. No, I live in Colorado. <laughs> and she you said, called me. She said, Well, you have a northern accent. And... And there was a lot of people in Colorado that thought I was from Canada because of my northern accent. Uh, when I lived in Phoenix, they said I had an accent. Yeah. And it did, uh, to me, they're like... Me too. That's what I was like... You say bag. I was like, what's a... We say, I was like, how do you say bag? What it's a bag. You get a grocery bag. Yeah. What, the, what do you mean you yeah. don't... No, it's... Bag. It, it or, sounds like, northern. I don't know. It's yeah. northern. It's a northern accent. It, yeah, apparently. And apparently I had it because I heard it from more than one person and it was... It's probably worse now that we lived in Malta for this long. Oh, yeah. Or is it? Because you hear things on the internet, too, though. You get to listen to podcasts yeah. of other people. Oh, well, I, and I catch myself doing it, too. I, but I'll, I'll notice it once in a while. Listen to Carol's dad's accent. He's been here since he was, like, I think he said since he was 15, 14, 15. He's been in America. And that's how strong his Mexican accent is. Well, and that's... Still. A, um, what is it? Mad- it's crazy. Once you learn it, I suppose, that's how it is. Well, just- and that's like they say Madonna has an accent now because she's lived... Lived in Britain long enough? Yeah. Come on, man. What about, what about actors? The, oh, yeah, you get a the, they, bullet they, accent. They, what about actors that can speak perfectly good English in English a movie, accent. but then when they do an interview, they have to speak with their British accent? What if the you fuck had to, is If that? you had to imitate... Anything else, what would your best accent be, you think? <laughs> if you had to be an actor and like they're like, this part's for John. Oh, boy. Probably, I don't know, I was going to say caveman, but <laughs> um, I'm not really sure of that accent. Let's, <laughs> let's just ugh, bang. Yeah, I don't. Come back to cave. <laughs> um, I don't know. You I... truly are a caveman. <laughs> <laughs> so easy a caveman could do it. I know. I got the beard. I look, got the. I got the look. I am a caveman looking motherfucker. And by the way, so cave, was Osama bin Laden. Cavemen were <laughs> chiseled abs and big, strong men. Uh, they probably weren't that big back then. With terrible hair and bad teeth. If you go back, you know, you go. <laughs> you go back that far in history, men weren't tall then. No, they weren't. If you go back to my high school days. I mean, you can see the progression of man from the time I was in high school. I mean, look at look at pro athletes. Maybe that's why they say I'm an old soul because I'm fucking five foot six. Yeah, I I, I hear you there. But I, I mean, could have played on the 1901 basketball team here in Malta. You look at the pro athletes, and you know, like back in the black and white TV days. Six those, eleven isn't unheard of on a basketball court now. No, I mean just not, as average. not in junior high. <laughs> it's like crazy but, shit. Look at LeBron. He came straight out of high school as big as he is. And he, he's put on some pounds, but... What's LeBron, 6'8"? At least. That's uh, unbelievably tall. And there's... I mean, there's... Well... I mean, to a guy that's 5'6", that's that's crazy tall. You're, yeah, you're right across the street over here. How tall is that kid? Yeah, there's... All over the I, place. I mean, that's... I don't know. I don't think... I think there's more to evolution than the Bible says. Because man has gotten bigger, stronger, faster. What happened to this meek shall inherit the earth bullshit? (laughs) (laughs) I just inherited frickin' terrible rides and bad decisions. What's the worst car you ever had? Worst car I ever had? I don't know. They've all been pretty badass. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> the see. cover of this podcast is going to be John's pickup. I have. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was just bragging about how good it's running, too, and then all of a sudden we get 30 below for 40 days. Oh, uh, the worst car I ever had. Jeez, I don't know. I, I, I'm one of those guys that I, I fall in love with my vehicles. I never want to get rid of them. I know, that, I'll fall in love with a stupid one, too. Yeah, that's, well, that, that Suburban I lucked out on. Because I think I bought it for a thousand bucks, and what ten years later I sold it for nine hundred bucks. I got more of a soft spot for piece of shit motorcycles that I think. I'm yeah, I my motorcycle I got rid of. And I, I love them though. Like I, I really like motorcycles, and I think that there's a vision behind all of them. And after my car crash, I, I, 
I truly believe that I probably should get rid of my motorcycle. I gotta start limiting the amount of things that can kill me. I, I mean, I've been flirting I with... I can think of a few. I, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that's just blatant. <laughs> <laughs> to, if, if that kills me, that's blatant murder. Right? Yeah. Uh-huh. I mean... <laughs> There, yeah, you'll find me with my throat cut and no cash in my wallet. So you fell down in the kitchen? Yeah, and a note saying, I couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, handwritten in a girl's nice, hand-smiley faces. and <laughs> Emoji on the end of it. <laughs> you won't even write it. It'll be a text on your phone just over the screen. <laughs> Oh, yeah, my depression got the best of me. <laughs> <laughs> now that some of them know, this is really likely. Oh. God, here we are giving them ideas, a thousand, thousand ways to die. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> they slipped on the ice. Yeah, that was the whole plan of that break, was I was going to move this chair out of the way so I could stand back up. I didn't want to well, sit now, down very bad. Now that we're in it an hour and a half. No shit. Right. We gotta do some research. We gonna uh, we gotta do a little research for our next one. Hopefully, we'll have a next one coming here pretty quick. Well, actually, this is the quickest I've banged two of them out in a long time. That's what she said. I you know, oh yeah. Which who, who's I know who the she is. <laughs> anyway, she no, <laughs> she's banged two out quicker than that. I promise. <laughs> we're. Uh... <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, we better quit this podcast. Before the, the, the actual well, note shows up. Well, you guys heard it first. I'll be like, listen, he was happy on the podcast. No, I don't know what happened. You guys heard it first. And no, we, uh, we did one not just here last week, and now we're back in here for the first time. How many is this? 51? Yeah, this is 51. And it's, uh, it's kind of crazy that I keep taking all this time off, but like I said, it's so fucking cold out here. You tell me you want to be the guy that comes out and gets the three heaters and the fucking heat lamp grunting. I'm, no, I'm literally standing I just spent six lamp. hours getting my pickup started just to get here. <laughs> Good thing I warned you early. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh good, thing I, good thing I had to buy groceries for somebody else first. No shit. Then my pickup was warm. I got three kids at home. I fucking buy groceries for somebody else every day. Yeah. Fucking seventy dollars a pop. It feels like every that's, time I walk in that store. That's different. At least you can appreciate it. At least you get a thank you once in a while, probably. Yeah, yeah, I do get those. But I mean, if I felt like I remember when I was a kid going to the store with my parents, and when they'd spend a hundred bucks, you had a shit ton of stuff to bring home. Yeah. Well, they were at least probably spent a hundred bucks. Uh, you know, if, if your parents went and spent 100 bucks, they probably didn't bring the kids because they were going to be in there for a while. Yeah, that was a big day at this grocery store. But now 100 bucks is five bags full. <laughs> if that, that's if you're shopping really, I mean, really good shopper. I, I go there, shit, by the time I'm done with Preparation H, condoms and lube. <laughs> <laughs> if you're... <laughs> I'm looking at... No, that's not to mention if I don't, I don't put down the dog aisle. I don't know what you're keeping aisle. tight to have the other two, but... <laughs> Preparation H is for the wrinkles on my eyes. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no, it's you're not You're looking true. youthful, though. I it's don't... <laughs> not true. I don't buy Preparation H. I, I, God, I don't want to give that idea on here. I think I've told you it before, though, too. Oh, yeah, I'm don't gonna, say it. Yeah, I'm not going to. That's a good one, though. I always think of good ideas on the podcast. And, and then I forget he's to not, it. And he's not talking about lube and the produce section. Close, though. Close, but. Real close. <laughs> lube and the produce section. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like about the peeled bananas. Did you ever use chat rooms, like, when they first came out? Yeah, I did. A couple times, a couple times. Just because it was you could even strange. Send, like, you couldn't yeah. send pictures back right. then. You no. didn't have nothing. It was all No, it was just chat. text back and forth before you could even, like, text your buddy on your phone. You didn't know, yeah, you didn't know if you were texting a 
fourteen year old girl or a no, forty five year old no. man posing as a fourteen year old girl, I, but you'd take the chance. I did that one time. I uh You were a forty five year old man posing as a fourteen year old no, girl. No, I was I wasn't quite forty five then. <laughs> I, I'm forty three now, so I couldn't have been forty five then. <laughs> Well, I was, I think I was like 22, 23 years old, and I was going to school in Bozeman, and we lived in student family housing, and it was, we had a crazy schedule where she, she worked, I worked, she went to school, I went to school, we had a kid, so it was just like, it was constant circus, you know, and uh, she worked at a bar, so she'd be gone all night, so I, I remember getting on a chat room, and I, one time I pretended I was, I said, I'm... I'm getting married and I'm scared of, I'm a virgin. I'm scared of getting laid for the first time. <laughs> and I got all these women were texting me about, oh, it's beautiful, blah, 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 blah. And I'm going, what the fuck? Is... <laughs> they, and they, I mean, they, it went so far as they were like, well, how did you meet? I said, oh, we were, I said, we were on a, we were on a ski t- I was on a ski trip and something, blah, 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 and I ran into her, and then two years later, I proposed on the same mountain, but total full of shit. Yeah. And they were all eating it up. It's like, a great love story. What is this? The Lonely Housewives? You should be I, a writer. I must have gotten the goddamn Got wrong, deep. wrong chat room. Chat was crazy, and then there was like Yahoo Messenger for a while, and that, but those were all things that came out, or AOL Messenger, that was even a thing. Yeah. Before, long before you could text on a cell phone. You remember when getting on internet when it would go beep like a fax? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like for 15 seconds or longer. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, Hold now, on, I'm trying to reconnect. No. My mom picked up the phone. Yeah. Now it doesn't do that. It's, but mom, it's, I was in the middle of a message. It's still as slow. It just doesn't make that sound. Yeah, mine's pretty fast around here. It's, it's not bad. Stuff, but, it's gotten better. But uh, it's gotten a lot better. I remember it taking... 20 minutes to download a fucking... Careful now. They can always make it better. You're don't, right. Don't give them well, props. Don't, don't get them excited. No. I, think, I think everybody should My have... My local telephone guy is a good dude. I think everybody should have a Wi-Fi. Uh, just like, you know... A, just, like a, just like you're supposed to have health insurance. You should automatically have to pay like... Pay for Wi-Fi. 30, 35 bucks a month and have unlimited Everybody Wi-Fi. Everybody should know and the internet everybody. now. Because it's yeah. bad to have it, people that aren't yep. on the internet right. almost. I mean, it's because it's such a normal thing that you should just automatically... I mean, not automatically. I get that you gotta. You should have to pay for it. Yeah, but how much How much are they trying to watch us? How much privacy is gone? How much well, you know, and that's where... And how much do I fucking care? I mean, just just like with health insurance, though. If you don't, fine. You pay a, you, you pay a little fine or whatever... If you don't want it that bad, well if I'll then. An, if, I'll answer, uh, if I'll answer the door in my underwear, what makes them think I'm afraid of sitting in front of right. a webcam in my underwear? Right, exactly. I, I don't care. I don't have a computer at home. I don't, if I mean, it, I have my phone. Yeah, same thing, though. You know, it's right. got a backwards camera. It, but it could be. but uh, my phone is usually turned face down. Granted, they can, I'm sure. It's got a camera on both sides. The camera, I don't think the camera on the front one works. Or it doesn't. I haven't figured it, it out. My point is... No way. My point is, my phone is usually sitting on the coffee table. Yeah. It's not in my room with the, you know, with the screen up or the camera well, facing... What if it's listening the whole time? Do you care? I mean, like... If, it, if it's listening, I, I don't know. I feel I bad for I hope they're entertained. Them. Yeah, I feel bad. I... If they're, they're trying to listen to me all day, they're getting a whole bunch of silence and maybe yeah, some that, music or a podcast playing in the that's background. Because I never talk throughout well, the day. Me Even me and the dudes just sit there and we speak through hand gestures and fucking... Yeah, but, my dogs, you'll hear me play with the dogs probably and doing my work on yeah. my computer, but you wouldn't hear me talk hardly you'll, ever. You'll probably... Unless Carol calls and then... You'll, you'll hear when I start cleaning or something, I'll knock over a stack of dishes and cuss like a sailor. <laughs> yeah. You probably or, hear me. You probably hear a lot of fuck yeah, out of me. Yeah. Or bumping my head on the cupboard that I didn't close. Or I'm clumsy as shit. Yeah, I, I leave cupboards open often. The like the last couple of days, I've been um, I've been sorting through a bunch of my papers and shit. I have a bunch of like songs. I'm still old fashioned enough where I have it all in papers and folders. So I go through them, and so I know that okay, these ones I know really well, so they go in this folder. The ones I need to work on go in this folder, and then the ones that are like in progress or whatever go in the third folder. Well, after about three beers, 
all those folders are laying out on the ground and there's no <laughs> there's no separation anymore. So then, once again, I have to go through it and figure out which one goes in which. That's when you hear me cuss a lot. I'm always the guy that gets to clean it, and I'm two seconds into cleaning, I'm either micro-cleaning, like a little corner of something, or I've found something interesting enough to throw me off track well, that I'm going, oh, yeah. Dude, my dishes soak for days. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that ketchup's really hard today. Yeah. I think I'll yeah. let her soak. <laughs> I'll, t- I'll do about half a load, and then I'll be like, oh, hey, maybe I should go check the air on my tires. Or I'll think of, I can come up with anything to leave dishes in the I can sink. Think of, I can always think of, to come up with anything to do other than what I should be doing, even if it's something yeah. I kind of like doing. Yeah. I always, it's like I always got to throw a wrench in, in my plans on my own. Yeah, I, it's kind of a weird thing, you know? Like, it's, it's self-sabotage. It's, I'm really jealous of people that don't have that, that don't, they can just be like, oh, today I'm going to do this and be content with it. God, content. That would be something. I, I, I've heard of it. There's fleeting moments of it, like I said, that, uh, I mean, like when I, like, the first 20 you seconds, show or you do something that, that's big or something that's first 20 seconds after learn. masturbation, content, <laughs> content, tired, <laughs> <laughs> tennis elbow, <laughs> I don't have to go that hard, crap, yeah. the, we, we've, when we went there again, we've it overdone it, y'all. <laughs> See how far we are here. Oh shit, we've lasted so long. I shut the password off. Sweet. Well, hey, we're gonna we should do some research on these, and the next time we get back to you, we'll have uh, at least two answers. One one that we've got to figure out that wrestler with the hair. We'll have a couple more facts anyway. And uh, what was the other one? I don't remember. Was it the Russian spy ship that ran into the bridge? No, or? it wasn't a spy ship. It was just a regular ship, but. It ran into a bridge, and the guy tried to back out. <laughs> there was a <laughs> big-ass ship, like was, a big shipping ship. There was another thing we were talking about that I, I had no knowledge <laughs> of, but I think I brought it up, and I can't remember what it was now. We'll have to Poop look it socks. up. Poop socks. Poop socks. <laughs> the warrior with blades on his arm. Poop knives, yeah. <laughs> the poop knife. Jesus. And to think we just have plungers. <laughs> yeah, no shit, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no shit. <laughs> no shit. Should have got a poop knife. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Just a, a big shitty machete hey. hanging off the side of your bathroom Is wall. It, if I have a poop knife, does that make it legal for me to <laughs> cut the head off a girl that talks shit? Well, not really. Well, sure. Not really. I mean, depends. <laughs> <laughs> no, it depends on what they wear if they shit their pants. That's gross. Yeah, here we go. Toilet humor. We're all right. Depends. <laughs> right into that one. <laughs> Did that take you that long? No, I, I it didn't take me that long. It's just I started giggling because that's as soon as I even say a, a casual word like that, it, that, it goes terrible. right to shit humor. Yeah. Every time. Can't help it. <laughs> God, that was one of our rules from day one, too, was no toilet humor. It's too bad we all too, but too broke. There's not many quarters in. Uh, yeah, we, we all kind of gave up on feeding the kitty there. Well, we bought another it bought a pair of headphones and another mic, so that wasn't bad. But Sweet. Yeah. It moved on with the podcast. Yeah, no, I need to buy another mixer broke. soon. My my mixer's starting to crap out on me. I need to get a different one. Well, we'll have to start bringing our dimes and nickels. Yeah, start calling them, calling the fellas. Or, if you people want to keep hearing this podcast, just send us your shitty socks. <laughs> oh, geez, don't go that far. We're going to get drilled like the Unabomber. <laughs> <laughs> I got a oh. I got a buddy that uh, got mad at at Samsung because his phone oh, started God. on fire. He sent Sam. They sent him a box to send Samsung back their phone, and he's like, "Well, am I gonna go without a phone for a while?" They're like, "Yeah, until we figure out what's going on." He went and scooped up some dog shit and sent some dog shit to the headquarters of Samsung. Apparently, that's not <laughs> that's not that's kind of frowned upon. Apparently, he got a visit from the old huh. police man. Yeah, that's, dude, that's human waste, dude. That's like... No, uh, not human waste, it's dog waste. Oh, dog waste. But that's like a biological or a something. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, you probably can't send it's a biohazard. things that could have a, yeah. That's like, yeah, that's like hospitals dispensing of their needles and shit. That, that It's shit. But it would be funny, especially if there was... I don't know. I, I'm not going to say it out loud, but I... We're just... Uh, 
Yeah. Did you I'm going to send you that podcast. For, and like I said, those of you that didn't listen, I feel like I'm Joe Rogan's paying me right now, but you got to listen to this podcast. It's fucking entertaining as all hell. Listen to this one first. Bro. Yeah, listen to our... Well, you got to get to this point, an hour and 44 minutes in to... Don't switch on us. Yeah. Finish ours first, and then... <laughs> so we're almost done. Yeah, and then go check this one out. What was it uh, we were going to put on the picture of the... Is that what we were going to do? That ship? That's what you were talking ship. about, the that's ship. That's right, that's right. I keep... I guess I keep going back to that Russian ship. Yeah. Well, anyway, Noah, it was fun without you. You had a chance. I hope you're okay wherever you're at. He's yeah, fine. Glad. Did you get a text? No, no, I just know Noah. He's fine. He's probably making more babies. He's probably just mad at us. Making more babies. Everybody in the world seems to be mad at me right now, and you're probably guilty by association. Could be. Well, I guess we'll see you when we find out how many people listen to this podcast. All right, with that. See, well, Travis is tired. Lisa, it's bedtime finally. I better hurry while it's still here and feels like I'm All tired. All right, peace out, people. All right, later. <laughs>